Hey there, Hopheads, and welcome to the shed for another Cask Ale Quickie craft beer review, where we take a look at what's on in the Great British Pub. Today's Cask Ale Quickie craft beer review is for Coffin Lane from Ashover Brewery of Derbyshire. <laughs> which is a county with many great breweries and many great beers. Coffin Lane was a dark red black stout. Some would call it sort of pitch black, but when you held it up to the light, I thought it had a little bit of a red tint to it. Up front, it was very bitter and astringent, quite drying in the mouth with none of the richness that you might get from an oatmeal stout. In the middle, it was quite bitter, but with a little bit of fruitiness from something like a cranberry or even, um, taking the name of the brewery, from an ash, otherwise known as a rowan berry. No pun intended. At the back, it kind of mellowed out into a richer coffee flavor. As stouts go, I'd have to say that I much preferred the Ilkley Stout from last week. Um, if you remember that from last week, I shall try to remember to post a link to that review here. Um, that was a much richer and smoother stout. Um, Coffin Lane, um, as is a common practice amongst uh, brewers in the UK, um, is named after a geographical location or feature near the brewery. Uh, street names like Coffin Lane or Corpse Road uh, are actually quite common in the UK. You might find that a bit funny in other places. Um, but these are part of a very old infrastructure of footpaths and byways um, that the rural and often very remote from the nearest churchyard community uh, would use to transport the dead for burial. It's very common here. Um, what is the oddest feature of landscape or location that you've seen a beer named after? Please tell us in the comments. You might remember Ashover from a recent review I did for a beer called Poet's Tipple. Um, their pump clips, um, as I've said before, are this rather distinctive leaf shape and they bear the logo of the brewery uh, with a stylized ash tree growing out of it. Um, it quite often happens in pubs that the landlord will buy several different beers from the same brewery at once, so this isn't like quite the coincidence that you might think. Um, so that it means you kind of get sort of a run of a brewery over a few weeks, which is kind of interesting because then you can compare uh, more than, you know, a couple of their beers and, and see how that brewery sort of performs uh, more as a whole, which is really good. Um, our local doesn't tend to put more than one beer from a particular brewery on at the same time, so I would never see two Ashover beers on at the same time, but some um, pubs do that. So that's it for today's Cask Ale Quickie Craft Beer Review. Thank you for joining us. Um, please like this video and subscribe for more reviews and news from the world of British craft beer. And make sure that you tell us in the comments what you've been drinking in the pub this week. We'd really like to know. Until then, I'm Evenstar, you're in the shed, and this is the Beer in Review. <laughs>